I drank nothing but protein shakes for a full week. Here's what happened. Oh man. Protein has become such a cliche in the fitness and bodybuilding community, so much so that it has become part of pop culture. I love protein. I love protein too. Protein rocks. Protein, protein. And I fell into this as well. When I was younger, I would prioritize protein over everything, cutting out my carbs and fats, thinking that protein was the most important thing when it comes to developing muscle or your recovery. And yes, it can be extremely important, but carbs and fats play a huge role as well. But I started to think what it would be like if you tried to survive off protein shakes alone, how would it affect you mentally and physically? Do you get good results or maybe not so good? And usually you'll see this in extreme dieting. In the short term, you can get some decent results, but at what cost? And we're gonna find out the cost in this video, in this challenge. So let's get started. Now, before we get to the rest of the video, I just wanna say a huge thank you to TLF for helping to make this video possible. They have some great clothing, which you can find at tlfapparel.com. And if you pick anything up, make sure you use our code TLF-BUFF to get 15% off. It's the morning of day number one of this challenge, and I'm just gonna be weighing in right now to see what my current weight is, also seeing what my current physique looks like, so that way I can weigh in again and have a comparison of how this really affects me physically. And of course, along the way, I'm also going to be logging what this, how this affects this <laughs> mentally as well. Currently on my way to meet up with my brother for a workout. I had my first protein shake in the morning for breakfast. I made my second one here. It's two scoops, it's 50 grams, mixed with water. Time to get this workout done. It feels fine now. It feels fine today, the first day. But uh, it's gonna be really interesting to see how this progresses and how I feel on the third day, fourth day, fifth day. You'll be better at it. <laughs> I will be. You ever see those videos in the zoo when the kids are watching the hippo and then it shits for like 35 straight seconds? How's it gonna be Brandon on that toilet every single night? <laughs> <laughs> Workout number one on day one is wrapped up. We did legs a day, which I'm really happy about because I feel like if I tried to do legs on maybe day number five of surviving only on protein shakes, I probably would have felt a lot worse, but I felt a little queasy. My muscles were fatigued. We did do 10 sets of 10 repetitions with 225 pounds on squat, so that might have been part of it. But either way, I am going to celebrate by having my second protein shake of the day and I feel like I kind of deserve this one and hopefully it's gonna satiate me and hold me over until the next protein shake. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. It's 7.30 right now, it's dinner time. I'm gonna be making my fifth protein shake. So this is gonna bring me up to around 250 grams of protein, a little over a thousand calories. So very, very low in the calories, but a little over a gram of protein per body weight. I think tomorrow I'm gonna to go ahead and shop for some more protein because uh, I'll need it. I also want to try to get some new flavors too. I can already tell that I'm gonna be getting sick of vanilla and chocolate. So I'm gonna be choking down this protein shake and that's it for me tonight and I'll see you on day two. Hey Brandon, I'm gonna to head to the store and grab some milk. All right, sounds good. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'll see you soon. Oh, thank God, some alone time. Oh yeah, oh my God. Oh, I just wanna taste you. Oh wow, God you look good. Oh yeah. Forgot my wallet. Oh, oh God, what are you doing? It's not what it looks like. It is the morning of day two and I'm having my breakfast right now and I've been mixing some casein with some whey in the morning. So hopefully with the casein, since it's a little bit slower digesting, it holds me over longer until my next protein shake. With the whey, it's a little bit faster digesting. So it hits my bloodstream quicker since I've been fasting all night. A bit more beneficial to get those amino acids there. But I've been noticing one positive in this challenge so far and that is a time saver. I mean, it takes me about a minute 
to make and drink a shake, where if I was making food and eating it, it would take me a whole lot longer. So that's one positive. And another one I've been really noticing is this is working on willpower, which I kind of like in a way. It's good to practice your willpower. So that's definitely two positive I've noticed so far, but I have to meet up with my brother for a workout. So let's get going. We got a pretty good workout today. We're hitting some chest and back. There's a lot of supersets. This is gonna be interesting to see if I can make it through. that it's only day two and I already feel like I'm running on fumes, feeling depleted, because uh, I am depleted. <laughs> I'm feeling really worn out with all these supersets and I am eating a balanced diet of protein, carbs, and fat, so I can't imagine what Brian is feeling right now. <sighs> look at Jack. Yeah. Who cares what you feel like, matters what you look like, yo. Cause I feel like shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, wow, lived. Yeah, barely. Oh man. Workout's done. Now it's time for shake number two. Oh man, that was rough. I'm really hoping this tastes good. Uh. This is currently what's happening right now. My girlfriend, Michaela, is having this beautiful meal. She's having some lunch, chicken, mushrooms, onions, lettuce, one of my favorite snacks, chips. And I am gonna have a protein shake for lunch. <laughs> We are on the way to his store. We're gonna be grabbing some different protein products, looking for some different flavors. I'm hoping that this might be the catalyst to finishing out this challenge a little bit easier um, than sticking with the same types of flavors of proteins. So they have a lot of protein choices here, which is nice. They got some pre-made stuff, which I feel like is gonna be very convenient. Don't have to make it anymore. If you want a little extra protein boost, you can grab it. They do have some different flavors too, which is gonna be nice. So I feel like that's gonna help make this challenge a little bit easier to finish off the rest of the days I have left, and so we're gonna be grabbing a lot of this stuff because I'm gonna need it. It is day four, and I wanna give an update on how I'm feeling. And I have to be honest, I am not feeling that great. I wake up in the morning, I still feel very tired. Once I get up and walk around, I feel out of it. I feel like I'm in a haze. And I've really tried to bump up the amount of protein shakes I've been having. Um, so I'm having around maybe seven or eight a day which brings my calories around 1,600 calories. My protein is over 300 grams, my fats around 27 grams, and my carbs are around 50 grams. But it is hard to get that many in because I don't look forward to having protein shakes anymore. I am so sick of protein shakes. I, I just am having extreme cravings for real food. But I only have a few more days left. I'm gonna finish out this strong, and we're gonna see how I look at the end of it and maybe I'll go crazy in the process. I don't know. Yo, yo, what's up? But Brandon here, part of the Swole Patrol. I'm gonna show you my house. Mi casa su casa. And I'm gonna invite you this way. This is the kitchen. This is the protein palace, I call it. My favorite place to house right here. As you can tell, we have so many different proteins. Anything you like. Uh, we got your plant-based garbage. You got your collagen. It's good for your bones and shit. Uh, you got these three things right here on the go. Boom, pop it open, dump it in, fucking down it. Pre-made stuff, have it on the go. You wanna see me shotgun this real quick? Let's do it, bro. Ugh. Pure protein, baby. That's what life's all about. As many protein bottles as you'd like. These ones are dirty. See people sniffing like they're smelling salts before lifting. I just keep one of these dirty. Woo! Yeah. Gets me going, gets me ready to that lift. This is the next room right here. It's where I do my lounging. Oh, I got a nice big couch. It has a rating of like six tons. The last couch I broke. Too, too big, too muscular. Lots of storage space. 
for more protein. Uh, I got a bathroom. Bathroom is essential. This is the second bathroom. Uh, I need two because one's always clogged. I'm about to hit the gym, bro. I'm gonna down a protein shake, hit the gym, come back, have another protein shake, and that's life, bro. I need you to leave, okay? Or I'm gonna posture up on you. You need to get the fuck out, all right? Get out of here. All right, it is the weekend and we're going out. And this is gonna be interesting because I have not been out this whole challenge and now I'm gonna be surrounded by people drinking, by people eating, and then there's gonna be me. Are you gonna be my support system? No, I'm gonna be laughing at you. <laughs> okay, all right, that's, that's fair enough. That, that is so damn good. That is so much better than a protein shake. Oh, what? No, just kidding. Protein, yeah. Okay, that's what I assumed. Yeah. I was like, is that powdered it's, sugar? It's a protein after. It's a protein mix of pure sugar, man. I was gonna say, you know, like you never skip gym day. No matter what you want. Damn right. Oh yeah. 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 Monday morning, it's the end of this challenge. It's time to weigh in to see how much weight I've actually lost throughout this week. So there you go, I lost 10 pounds in a week. I definitely look a little bit leaner comparing my physique when I started to now, and that's not really a big surprise. I mean, these crash diets, these extreme diets, these depletion diets, they work. And that's the dangerous part because a lot of people will do them and get results and feel like that's the only way to lose weight, which is simply not true. Uh, it just takes a little bit longer if you stay steady on a real balanced diet, but everyone wants results quick. And the interesting part is I'm going to be introducing real food back into my schedule and I'm going to see how much weight I gain back in one day after eating normally. Fuck. Time for another diet. <laughs>